Wombats are truly beautiful creatures. Loved and appreciated all over the world, the wombats are an iconic Australian animal alongside the kangaroo or even the dingo. But what people may not know about wombats here in South Australia is that they're actually endangered. Due to farming, introduced plants and other shifts around their natural habitat, it has become hard for South Australian wombats to find food. To give us more information about Wombats SA and wombats in general, here's current president of the Natural History Society of South Australia, Peter Clements. My name is Peter Clements. I am currently president of the Natural History Society and our trading name is Wombats SA. Luckily, there are groups like the Natural History Society of South Australia who have made it their duty to keep our lovely furry friends safe, happy and protected. These guys run Wombats SA, who own and manage three wombat sanctuary sites. Each sanctuary is home to several wombats, but they're constantly threatened by predators and even local farmers who have taken up shooting them when seen on their properties. There have been many attempts in the past to help the survival of the wombats here in South Australia. In the 1960s, Dr. Peg Christian created a life-saving milk formula specifically designed for orphan marsupials. Orphan animals have become more common as humans have affected natural ecosystems all around the world. This formula can save an animal who no longer has a mother to drink milk from. So the um um, Natural History Society was the original society and they uh, were campaigning um, to get various species uh, protected and one of the early ones was the wedge-tailed eagle. Farmers were in the belief that the eagles were taking young lambs and things like that which has since been disproven. But farmers were shooting the eagles and stringing them up on their uh, fences and um, this was quite an abhorrent practice to the Natural History Society members, so they wrote letters to the paper and tried to get it stopped, and eventually it was stopped. And so the Society adopted the wedge-tailed eagle as its emblem because of that campaign. Since that time, that original purchase was two parcels of land at a, in an L shape, and it was about 2,000 hectares, or eight square miles. Um, since that time we were offered some more land to fill in that L uh, in 2007. By 2008 we'd raised the money and we bought it and now it's a 7,000 hectare property with about 2,000 wombats on it. Although they enjoy the thread iris weed, oftentimes these natural food sources are consumed by other animals like kangaroos. This can make it hard for wombats to survive and has drastically affected their species as a whole. Uh, wombats are actually one of the most drought tolerant animals on earth. They uh, almost don't need to drink water, although they will. Um, but a lot of them on our reserve are nowhere near any water, so they've got to get by without it. And they, they get most of the water they need from their feed, particularly if it's nice fresh grass. But there's precious little, little of that around these days. It's, um, the whole place has been heavily overgrazed by other animals like kangaroos. And uh, in the past it was rabbits as well, but we largely eradicated them. So. Um, the wombats are actually have now decided, or well, they've worked out that they can survive on a plant that's an introduced weed called thread iris. And they dig it up um, and it's got a little corn underground which they eat. It's quite nutritious. And that's all the wombats are surviving on at the moment. There's nothing else to eat. If you want to involve yourself personally in the survival of the wombats here, there's a lot of work to be done at the sanctuaries. Once a month, a working bee is held at one of these sanctuaries where volunteers go to the site and help with several tasks around. This can include clearing pathways, fixing fences, and even removing weeds that would be harmful to our beautiful wombat friends. 